Hey, Lordy guys, gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time, we are getting it all in full void. Now, this excellent puzzle platformer was developed and published by Out of the Bit, and is available for £13.74 slash $14.99. Now, this was a really cool game to play as we play as a young teen, Mr. Yun Gatin, as he is <laughs> faced alone in a dystopian future controlled by rogue AI. Now, this was hand drawn pixel art at its finest and is pretty much a throwback to the classics of the 80s and 90s with a cheeky little modern twist in the storytelling. But as I said, it is a great story and it is an all round enjoyable game. Now, as for achievements, sorry, I got completely lost in my own thoughts there. Uh, as for achievements, the majority are for basically uh, kind of just slightly going out of your way to find either a thing or a person. Uh, you know, they, they're quite hard to miss. There's nothing really too hard about it. But we do need to see all 17 death cutscenes, if you will. So pay attention and check the timestamps if you get stuck. And all in all, you're looking at around one to one and a half hours to get this done. So with that being said then, let's do it. And in terms of controllers and everything like that, it's literally you're pressing the A button to jump, the B button to interact with items, and the left stick, of course, to move. So once we get going and we'll all be gooder than a hooder in the retro pudding hatch, yeah, I don't know what I'm on about either. But we will start with this cutscene here. We can just skip it if you want with the A button, which I will be doing. And the first thing we're actually going to do is when when we get control of uh, Mr. Young Teen here, we're going to go immediately to the left because this will be the first cutscene, uh, the first death cutscene there. So already go in for a nice, well, death. Otherwise, once we've done that, we can just head to the right. Continuing to head all the way to the right. And it's pretty much obviously going to be a tutorial where you just need to obviously press the A button. Press the up on the left uh, up on the left stick in order to get up. Pressing down will obviously get you down. Um, yeah, it's pretty simplistic. So this second one here then, if you press down on the left stick, you can also start crawling or you'll do it automatically. So... If you press the B button here, now you'll find a lot of these hacking mini games in the game as well. Now, obviously, when you see it go green, that's when you press the A button in order to get it to work. If not, you will die, and that'll be number two out of 17 already done then. So, again, just take your time with it. It, it can go quite quick, and it may take a couple of attempts just to get used to it. So, uh, yeah, it did definitely take me a couple of attempts to get used to it there. Uh, some dude there with either a long haircut or he's being mind controlled. I think it's mind controlled. So get up on the elevator, press the B button. Now just stand still. Completely stand still. You will die again. And that is fine. That's going to be the elevator scene. So fail over achievement 3 out of 17. Now immediately press down so we can crouch. And he will miss us somehow. So when you get on that elevator there, just crouch down. And you will be good to go. So, jump to the right then, and uh, we're going to get our first achievement of the game, actually. We're just going to drop straight down, meow, blonk. And that is going to be failover 4 out of 17, plus the I believe I can... Oh, better not sing an R. Kelly song. <laughs> nah, that guy is weird. So, go down to the edge, press down on the deep, uh, on the left stick, and then we can climb down the ladder. Lovely, so that should be your first achievement anyway, and then we'll be able to just crack on. Um... In terms of, like, height and stuff, yeah, you don't really have a big window of height before you just die. So, try not to fall off too many ledges. Uh, so, obviously, you climb up the ladder. Yeah, for some reason, there's a bunch of kids about, but all the adults have been mind-controlled. Ah, uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could just be mind-controlled and just stay in a house and not have to worry about anything? That'd be cute. Right, so from here then, what we can do is just jump across... We should be able to make it. And then we're going to climb up. You're going to press the B button, hold the B button in order to push the box over to the right hand side. Climb up the box, climb up the building. And then, oh, hello, he's having a little dance out for himself. Uh, so jump across. And then we can jump up again, go to the right. And we can drop down. Again, just be careful here. Um, 
But what we're going to do now is immediately jump over to the right. He will miss us, don't worry about that. But we need to then go to the left in order to get the second achievement. So jump back to the left. Go inside of the house where Mr. AI Angry Pants just came out of. You're too angry for me. And then just press the B button here on the mind control helmet. And that will be the reality check. And of course, you'll know when you should have the achievement. Because it pops up in the bottom right corner as well. So that's bang tiny, mate. Right, so now we can just jump across again. And um, we're going to climb up the ladder. One thing I do notice is that, you know, considering there's a whole bunch of, like, robots and stuff after him, he doesn't exactly move very far, does he? Um, anyway, press A there to jump to the left, and then press the B button again, obviously, to get the hacking minigame up. But this isn't a... This is basically telling a crane what to do. So you press down th four times, and then go to the play button, and that'll just put it down, well, four times. So... Um, yes, you've got the hacking mini game like the, the tube one from earlier on, or we just tell stuff what to do, which is nice. So after that's done, we'll drop down, go to the right. Now, continue on all the way to the right. So go over to the second elevator and then go over to the right once more. And then what we will get is a Nazir achievement. Kids are all like, hey, what's up, man? Uh, but they're vertically escaping, as it turns out. So what you could do is just don't do that. Uh, I did actually just try to jump over to the left. Um, but yeah, so when you jump over to the left, then you can go down on the lit up elevator. That's uh, that's what I was trying to get at. And here we are in the darkest of nights. We're going to the right, of course, because that's all we're going to be doing is going to the right. Uh, now, these will break, so you need to be quite quick, so jump up, jump over to the right, and of course, jump over to the right again. And you're going to get a nice little cutscene here of how life used to be, before we got effed in the A by the AI. So, again, don't jump down, make sure to uh, crouch down, and now just go press up on the left stick here in order to find... Uh, this little cutscene happening, plus it'll get us the slice of fright achievement, which hey, as long as it fits on a pizza, it's all good. Right, so continue on to the right, and then we're going to have to climb up, and then we're going to go to the left, and then push a box all the way over to the right until it hits the ground. So, push the box over, of course, get your buns on it. I mean, I could have done a lot better by pushing it all the way, which would have made all the difference. Um, but apparently, he's, uh, little stubby arms don't uh, reach as well as big grown-ups do. Right, so continue on to the right. Now, when a dog, a dog's going to chase us now, so we're going to go to the left and get butchered by the AI dog, which is rather scarier. Uh... And then when we get back to it, we can then just continue heading on to the right. So don't stop for anything. This scene will happen automatically. But then when we regain control of Mr. Yun Kateen, we're going to then jump to left into the river to drown. That'll be um, number six. Yeah, so this will be number six for drowning. Then we'll start back where the dog is. So then we just go back all the way to the right again. Don't stop, gingerbread man! Yeah, <laughs> loser dog! Right, so go to the right, press the B button on this little drain right here, and we will begin ventures anew. So we go for yet more death now, so once we climb down we'll go to the right, press up here to go up, and then just continue straight through to the right into the waterfall to incredibly slip and meet your demise once again. Very unlucky this kid. Anyway, that should be number 7 out of 17. When we regain control we can go back to the left, continue heading to the left and then we'll go upwards, and then of course we'll go left again. Obviously, it is one of those games. It's not like we can just go here, there, and everywhere. 
Um, continue on to the left, and then we'll have to do a little bit of climbing. So, climb up. Uh, you're going to have to make a jump here. Uh, not here, actually, but we will make a jump so we can start climbing over. Um, but you see where the sort of, uh, what it's brown? Yeah, you need to make a jump there because it'll just um, crack and then you will effectively be dead. So make sure to jump over the little bits of brown and then we're going to go inside this tunnel here. So press up to go inside. Now we're going to die once again by steam. Oh no, it's a little steamy in my face. Mate, we love a steam room, so yeah. Although it is pretty hot in the sewers, isn't it? But of course, to get past steam, just wait until the steam dies down. Right, so for now what we can do is again just climb up. Now continue on to the right and do not stop for anything because Mr. Doggy will be appearing. Now for some reason, uh, he did catch up with me twice. So keep going to the right though and then make a jump for it at the very end. So yeah, you may get caught once or twice. I did, even though I'd done the exact same thing. Not sure why that decided to happen, but it decided to happen. So there we go. Anyway, once we get over here, meh, stupid dog, uh, drop down and then press the B button here on the lever. That will obviously get rid of the waterfall. And then somehow we won't be able to slip. But yeah, as you see, we do have to be quick sometimes. So go up. Now what we're going to do is press the B button on the third wheel. So obviously left to right is one to three. So the third wheel and then the first wheel. And then that should be dandy as chicken cream pies, Andy. Now we can go to the right, and the waterfalls, which were here before, are now not. So, let us jump in, and through, and we've got more stinky stewer stuff to do. So, uh, you need to time it quite carefully here, so when the steam goes down, then we're going to press the, the B button in order to get rid of the waterfall, and then quickly jump over, because as you can see, the waterfall starts again. And then, of course, just jump straight to the right when the steam is good to go. Careful here again, again, it's just all about timing, so just wait until the steam goes down, and then make a break for the right. And then just get over to the, to the pipe so we can drop down, drop down again, and head to the right, at uh, the left, sorry, and up. Then we're going to climb up again, of course. Now, you have to make a jump over again, otherwise you will die through Slippy Slip Slips. Slippy G, Steven Gerrard. The best thing that he ever done in a Liverpool shirt was slip and cost Liverpool a title. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting off track now. Uh, right, so drop down, and then we're going to go up. And we're going to do this little hacking mini game again. So again, make sure it is green. Now, normally this game is pretty good in terms of if you die, you'll start literally at the same point. So it is pretty decent. Uh, go to the right, press the B button here on this valve. That will get rid of the water and open up the door. Don't say the daughter. I was going to say the door. I was going to make a rhyme, but I didn't know it, so I decided not to. Uh, so, there we go. Head to the left. And we're in! Two more sewagey stuff. Delish. Right, uh, press the door handle here to get through. Now what we're going to do is interact with the second one. Again, you have to be quick. So interact with the second one, then the third one. And then just make an absolute break for it. So obviously they do start up again, of course. Jump up onto the platforms and just jump, make a jump to the right so you'll grab onto the lead pipe. Again, bit of time in, just wait for the steam to die down and then get a nice bit of yum yums in your face. Not in the sewer, you ain't. Uh, no, I actually done this by accident, but this is another failover scene with the spider bot. What you were supposed to do is when you drop down, um, immediately jump to the right. Uh, but for some reason, my character, uh, Mr. Yun Gatine, didn't decide to jump to the right. So again, drop down and then quickly jump to the right as quick as you can. Uh, don't worry, there's plenty more spider bots if you didn't get that one. So, interact with the second lever, then the first lever, and then the third lever, and then quickly make a break for it. So just jump down, and you should then be able to make it. So yeah, again, quite tight, uh, some of these puzzles with timing, but it is still not too bad. Right, we are going to climb through this hole, interact with this lever here, and that is going to kill us by about dead. Dead, 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 ting on dead man's land, on dead eyes land three. There we go, so once you've interacted with the lever again, we should now be able to get through here. 
Uh, what we're going to do is now interact with this uh, hacking minigame and we're going to press the right three times and then just press the play button. Boop, and that's going to kill that dead than a dead thing again. Then we can just jump up and of course jump to the right again. Uh, again, obviously just make sure the steam, as soon as the first steam goes down, you should be golden to just nip straight through. So we're going to drop down and then we're going to do this little hackio once again. So we're going to press right uh, three times and then press the hand icon and then the play button. So that was right three times, hand icon and then the play button. And then you need to do this at the same time. So sometimes that can be a bit finicky, uh, but you need to, to you needed to have interacted with the valve at the same time as the spider. So sorry, I was a bit behind on that bit. So again, we go for the next sort of mini game, but it is we're just going to press the right button four times, five, six times, sorry, and then the hand icon, and then press play. So right six times, and then the play button. And then eventually old spider pig right here will get that going. Just wait until he goes back into his deep, deep, deep spider slumber. Over to the left. Once he's done, we can then drop down and head straight through the vent. Spanking your hairy crutchingness, my benevolent spiderness. Right, so jump up onto the right platform. And then we're going to pull this box to the left slightly. Jump back over. Blech. And there we go. Then we can just jump up so we can climb to the other side and nip, nip on Trudy Hole. Trudy Hole. Again, I wonder if there are any ladies out there called Trudy Hole. <laughs> Here is another perfect point that you can get the Spider-Bot kill if you haven't yet, or the Spider-Bot death scene. Otherwise, wait until he goes to the left, drop down, and immediately press the valve. And that stupid spider will be crushed more than a busted. I'm just making up crappy words now. Very sorry. Anyway, uh, nip through. Now we're going to get another missable achievement here. Just press the B button next to this old chunky statue head. That'll get you the stone dignity achievement. So what we're going to do though, nothing, nothing's going to happen. We're just going to continue all the way to the right. So taking the scenery of nothing. So, two cheeky miscellaneous achievements to grab here. The first one, we'll just press the B button again by the vending machine. We'll have a little snarky snook, a little scooby snook, and we will have a little scooby drunk. And then we're going to go into the bathroom right here as well. So, don't go all the way to the left, go into the bathroom. We are going to take a quick dump because, you know, yes, there's rogue AI, but, you know, when you got to go, bro, you got to go. And then make sure to wash your hands, of course, otherwise. You'll have uh, schnitty hands and, you know, you'll be disgusting for all day. Uh, plus, that'll get you the clean conduct achievement. So that's two achievements there we should get. Now we can head to the left. Again, this was before the days where people used to wash their hands. Now everyone's disgusting. And, of course, that is how you got rid of COVID as well. So if you had COVID, just uh, wash your hands and sing happy birthday at the same time. That gets rid of every disease known to man. Happy days. So, just continue on to the right for now. Don't worry, these children who are were there are not now. Um, so, we're going to do this another little hacking mini game, of course. So, just take your time with it. And as soon as it goes green, of course, press the A button. That's that's literally the only hacking mini game that we've got to do. That and the whole direction things. There's nothing too complicated. Now, there's no enemies in here for the moment. Uh, but we've just got a little bit of... Um, Weird stuff to do. So first thing, we're going to go into this little area right here. Then we're going to grab the stool and bring it over to us uh, right two times, I think. Yeah, two times. Then we can climb up on the stool and we can climb through the ominous white-looking patch thing. Head down to the left. And then we're going to push the stool out. <laughs> push the stool out. That was very unintentional. But yes, push the stool to the left there. So we can just drop back into the previous room. 
And then with this stool, we can pull it. Don't pull your stool in real life, though, because that uh, that means you're a monkey, and you should you belong in a circus. Uh, so jump through, and then we're going to press the B button here on our little new friend. Hello, I call you... Robert. Like Dr. Zoidberg. Hello, Robert. So, with you and Robert, uh, he's going to help us out. And again, just like we didn't done earlier, we have to do the whole direction thing, and then we have to press the button at the same time. So, what we're going to do then is obviously press the B button here by the hacking ting. And then we're going to press left a good number of times. We'll be two, three, four, five. And then the hand button. When you press play, immediately go to the left. And then when the robot's there, press the B button so you can both press the levers at the same time. If done correctly, you should get this cutscene where the light appears. And the door opens. So, yeah. On we go. On we go, lads. Right. Straight onto your own stool. Go to the right. And then we're going to head in to the, uh, this room, and then we're going to push the stool to the left, and then we're going to head into the room on the left. So another slight new mechanic that we uh, have with our little robot friend. So go under the old hackeroni. Now, it kind of looks like a stethoscope, but it's like a hook, so we'll just call it a hook, yeah? Right. So we're going to press hook first, then left, then hook, and then the hand icon, and then press play. Now, again, this is time, so get to the elevator. As soon as he drops it down and pushes the lever down, it's open, but it's only open for about two or three seconds. So that's why we get there. Right, on to more goodness now. Sort of. Sort of goodness. We're still being hunted by angry I. I. So go to the left then when we get into this room. And then we're going to head into the next room here with a bunch of robot parts and everything. Uh, climb up and, of course, go to the left. It's another hackeroni jabloni. So let's do this. So uh, hook icon and then left twice and then hook and then hand and then play <laughs> and there we go Jablonski we're all good so now we can continue and go up into the next hall and then we'll drop down. Um, in fact, we'll drop down carefully. Uh, didn't actually mean to do that. We'll drop down nice and carefully after we put the lever on. So pop the lever on, drop down nice and carefully. Then do the old hacker blowny Jablonski minigame again. Well, it's the direction ones. Uh, so we're going to press left uh, four times. Then the hand icon. Then press the play button again. And then just go to the right of the elevator door here. Because again, it is timed, and you'll just have to do that bit again. So, that'll do, pig. Right, so, we're going to get another fail cutscene. A fail over cutscene in just a minute. So, continue heading. Uh, we go up, and then to the right. And then we should end up in this area with a ladder. So, that's what we're going to do. For some reason, we can't just push the ladder. We've got to use this uh, bit of AI again. So, we're going to go right, right. Right, right, right five times, hand icon, and press the play button. And he's going to go across nice and carefully, but he will pop the lever over for us, and that'll go down to the left. Uh, now, you didn't actually need to do this, not sure why I've done that, but anyway. So we're going to head up the ladder, go to the left, and then we should be destroyed, killed, and munched on by El Wormo. There we go, Mr. Ski of Jablonsk. So once that's done, we will climb back up the ladder. Apparently I tried doing uh, the best dance in the world. Uh, and again, we will go to the left, but instead of going far left this time, we are just going to climb up through the hole, this one with the plant. 
And then we are going to go to the right. Now, don't worry about the AI, but you will need to just be careful here because obviously um, you can fall. So drop down. And then what we need to do then, we'll just have to wait now until the AI is going back to the left, looking at the books, and then we can quickly drop down and head right through the elevator. So we're just about to be chased by an AI, so as soon as we can, go to the left, quickly jump out of the window. Go to the right, climb up the ladder, quick as you can. And providing you see this cutscene, you are golden. Again, I got caught twice there for some reason, so it may happen to you, it may not. But we're going to be coming up to another fail over death cutscene screen. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to drop down the first little... Hatch right here, and then we're going to stand still. Blah. And then we get crushed. And then we can just crack on. So that should be number 11 now, already out of 17. So, heading to the right again, of course. And it's, it's effectively just running right. So, drop down, and just continue heading to the right, pressing the B, uh, pressing the B button on the door so we can get straight through. Make sure to climb the ladder here and then continue on to the right. So you need to go up to the right, down, and then push some more buttons. And then eventually we will get to the end. There we go. This be the end, but we'll go to the left now. Continue on to the left, that's a great picture. I'm so happy with VR, it won't totally ruin my life. And it's not very expensive or anything. Heh, <laughs> of course not. Right, so once again then, we do have another little bit of hackeroni to Bobloni to be doing. Uh, so we will go left uh, three times, hand icon and press play. And again, you'll need to press the lever at the same time. So quickly go to the right, press the lever at the same time. And that should get the doors nice, wide, and open for you. Uh, so continue on to the right again. And literally, that's all you're doing now is going to the right, opening up the doors, not stopping for anything until we get to the end. Don't crap your pants now! End of the line. Right, so let us go to the right. And when we get here, we're going to do absolutely nothing. Don't touch anything. And then that means more death. And then, uh, so that should be number 12 now for the door scene. And then when we get to the next door, when the scene comes up, we're going to press the B button. Uh, just mash the B button a couple of times. Bing, 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 bing. And we will just make it because we are so cute. Right. Now, for another time of running all the way to the right, run all the way to the right. We're going to get electric shocked next for failover 13 out of 17. Leroy Jenkins! There we go, I just Leroy Jenkins my way into the electric shock of Magoni. Well, that was some good, we enjoyed that. So yep, 13 out of 17, done. So when we get to the next screen now, we're going to go up this time. So we're going to go through the door there. Uh, so you'll have to jump over this first electric bit, and we're going to do some hackering. And it's going to be um, the hook icon. So hook, left, tw uh, left four times again and then hand icon 
That'll turn off the electric on Moosity. There we go, as pretty as a picture. Ah, there we go. Pretty as a picture. Right, so we are heading to the left again, just tying the steams. The steamed hams. Yes, the steamed hams we're having. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Too many Simpsons quotes, I know. Uh, so we're going to climb underneath first, because we're going to need to do some hackering again. I say hackering, it's, you know what I mean. So we're going to be going right, twice, hand icon, and that should turn off the electric on acoustic again. Or it should actually turn it on for us, so we can press the B button to head up the elevator mirror. Right, you'll have to be quick when we jump over to the right. This is a crumbling platform, so we'll immediately jump over to the right again. So, you know, you don't have the inevitable death. Jump over again. Oh, man, this young gatin. Pretty good at jumping. Right, be careful here then. Obviously, you need to press down. And if you press down and right, then you'll start crouching. Wait for the steam and then just continue on. And then we're going to climb up the ladder here. So, again, it can be very easy. We're going to climb to the right as well now. But it can be very easy to just... Press right or left, you know, once too far and then be absolutely dead. So, obviously we need to be careful with that. But we will put the lever on. That will get the elevator down. So then it's just a case now of heading back. Yep, nothing there. Just an AI just chilling. So, don't worry about that, douchebag. So, again, obviously you need to climb to the ladder. Go down and to the left and watch out for the steam terms. So, when we make it up, we're going to go for fail over 14 out of 17. We're going to jump straight into this electrical platform. So, ay 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 I am dead now. Uh, but that is 14 out of 17. Right, when we, can, when we get here, we're going to drop down. And then we're going to jump down. And then we should then make it right there. Any other way and you'll fall to your death. Right, so don't pull it obviously all the way. What you need to do then is... Push the, so pull the box, then go over, push it, jump back over the box, pull it once or twice there, so it's in the middle, and then push it again. Now, this bit caught me out a few times. It was uh, this part with the steam on the left. So just pull it once, twice, and you will die. When the steam chills out, just quickly get back on the box. And then when it's over again, push it to the left, just Again, highly advised just wait in, no need to rush. Then when it's done, we can just jump up and we should be good to go. Uh, some more steamy stuff. So as soon as the one on the wall is done, drop down and immediately crouch down. And then you should be able to make it to the left. And this tis be a nice but easy one. We go in right and then hide hand icon. And then play. That'll do pig. That'll do Robert. That'll turn the electric off. But you do have to be quick. As you can see, I just about made that there. But when we get, we get rid of this lever, the electric will turn off. But the steam will remain. So just be rather aware of that. Uh, so we can head to the right again. We're going to actually jump up on the platform this time. And then... That will enable us to jump up the pipes. Ah, she blows, mate. Jump, uh, just go to the right, and we're going to jump up to the left. You can probably just see there. And then that's how we get past that bit, apparently. Uh, right, so, more fun stuff to do. Then we're going to jump over to the elevator here on the left. Elevator, escalator, whichever waiter it is, or moving platform, we'll just call it. So once we moved over here then, we are going to jump over to the left, of course, not by the spider bot. Um, it's okay to jump on this bit, but we're going to turn the electric on. So from here, you will just have to be careful and make sure to jump over, over to the right so you don't get electrocuted. And then, now what I would do there is wait for the spider to just go back to the left more. Because if you don't manage to do the same jump that I did, uh, he may catch you quite quickly. So anyway, once you've done that... Again, wait for the steam. 
wait for the steam, and head to the right. And there we go. Press the B button on the elevator. Hey, taking me the wrong way. Right, so more steamed hams. Now, you've got to be careful here. You can just make a break for it straight away. But it's literally a case of just waiting for that first steam to dissipate. And then you can pretty much make a break straight for it. So, again, apologies if that was a bit quick right there. Um, but then we can head over to the right. And we're going to do some more hackering. And this time it's going to be hook. So hook first and then we're going right uh, a good seven times, then hook, and then hand icon. So hook right seven times, hook, and then hand icon. Bang turn, man. Very nice, very nice. So jump onto the platform and of course jump over to the right so you don't get smooshed by spider boat. So again, it's literally a case of as soon as the first steam goes, quickly press the B button there so the platform can start moving. I just about got away with that one then. Again, these little steam sections, they may take a couple of times. They did for me, but hopefully you're a better gamer than I am and can get through it Pfft. a lot more unscathed. <laughs> of course, it's the magic of editing, isn't it? So with this hacker out, we're going to go hook. We're going to go left five times, hook, and then hand icon. Then once the electric key is done, the electric key, <laughs> then we can go to the right. Now, so again, it's just a case of waiting for the steam. But when we get over to the right side, there is more steam. So just be careful. Take your time. You'll be able to see right in front of us now. So just be careful. Now, again, you'll have to be quick with pushing the lever. So as soon as we can, jump up, press the B button on the lever, and then immediately jump down because that spider boy, oh, man, he'd be quick now. He'd be quicker than a quick ting now, man. Better than that jerk jerk reggae sauce. Sorry, that was just terrible. So then we can get on the elevator and head upwards. Right, let us jump to the right. Uh, where are we right now? Right. So, some fun stuff that we got to do here then. Uh, no enemies, but there's just a few sort of puzzly bits that we got to do, obviously. So, head to the right. And then what we could do is we're going to uh, do the hacking mini game. Then we're going to press down once and then press play. Then we're going to drag the box over to the right hand side over on the platform to our left. But we're going to put it as far left on the platform as we can. So obviously we have room to jump up. There we go. And then what you're going to do is go back into the hacker machine, press up three times. So once that's done, we can climb up and then we're going to use the other hacker and machine. So use the other hacker machine and then we're going to press up just the once. Press play and there we go. We should be golden squared chicken balls. Right, so head to the left and we're going to push this all the way over uh, so it hits the ditch or the, you know, that, that little space bit there. And then just do the same with the next block. Pull it all the way to the left. Right, Robert, time to get him out again. So, again, this is another one where we have to push the levers at effectively the same time here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go right, right, hand icon, and then right, 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 hand icon. So, two rights, hand icon, four rights, hand icon. Press play, and then as soon as you're done, drop down, hit the first lever, Again, you may get stuck with the steam, and then hit the second lever, and then you should, hopefully, if you've done it uh, with enough time in there, you will get that little cutscene, and everything will be smoking. Um, if not, then you'll just, again, have to just do that little bit again, that's all. Uh, but once you've done that, then, we can head basically up, so where we, uh, where our little robot friend was. 
Now we can head to the right. Now, what should have happened, that platform should have still been up so we can jump all the way to the right hand side, but for whatever reason, it decided not to be up. So you need to get this middle platform basically straight up as we done earlier, and then we can jump out to the right hand side window. Oy vey, I made a great pig's ear out of that one, didn't I? Uh, so when we drop down then on the ladder, we can then just head all the way to the right in order to finish this part of the level or the game. Okay, I'm going to admit I do end up making a, a pig's ear out of these hacking uh, mini games sort of two or three times. Uh, and this will be the first one, or the second one technically. So heading up the ladder then, and then of course we're going to do the old hackeroni. <clears throat> now what you're supposed to do is put it right four times and then put the hook down. But I ended up only doing it three times, so I messed that up. But it's right four times, then hook, and then you can go ahead and just push the box over to the right hand side so you can climb in through the gap in the window. But again, I decided to make a pig's little butthole out of this one. Okay, now it's not going to be as bad anymore. Promise. <clears throat> right, so again, onto the hacking machinery here. You've got to be quite careful with this one, of course, with the steam. But what you're going to do is press down twice and then right five times. And then press the play button. So down twice and then right five times. That should then be enough for you to give yourself a little jump as soon as the steam's gone away. And then we can go over to the right. We're actually going to be getting a new failover scene. We haven't had anything for 10 minutes or so, have we? Uh, press the B button uh, here to get into here. Now just wait until one of these fires fires you. And then kablamo, you just got Lord Alan sugared. You're fired. But he's a douche Tory loving nozzle face douche. So, yeah. We don't like Alan Sugar, or any Tories for that matter. Uh, <laughs> right, so again, it is literally just like the steam then. you just got to wait until it dies down in front of you. Then we can continue on to the right. Now, you're going to be in a little bit of a chase here. When we get to the next one, or when we start going through the next tunnel, the worm's going to chase us. So again, you're just going to continue on to the right. Now, when we get out, uh, press the B button in order to shut the gate and then quickly run to the right. So when we get out, press the B button. Now go to the right next to the valve and then press the B button. So not the A button, but just the B button. So I almost got myself killed through sheer idiocy, which is about right for me in all fairness. Uh, so that's how you get rid of that easy little worm. Right, so jump onto the next hacker machine. And then we're going to go to the right twice, up a good solid four times, and that'll do. So right twice and up four times. And then, of course, when we get up here, we are going to jump up to the left, interact with the lever, and that one steamed hams. Oh, they do look very similar to Krusty Burger. Oh no, these are steamed hams. It's a Skinner dialect. Anyway, we're going to go down four times, and then the rest of the way is right. So down four times and the rest of the way is right. And we all know six wrongs make a right. Or six rights make a wrong. Or something. Um, nope. Not very good at life advice. So back on the old hackeroni then. Of course, this time we need to be going up. So we're going to go up three times. Up uh, four times, sorry. So we're going to go up four times and then that should get us going.
on to the next part of the game. Right, so more, <laughs> yes, more hacking. That's all this game is now as we get to the robotic -y part. Uh, but we're going to go right, uh, effectively, all the way until the last one. And then the hand icon for the very last one. Then we can press play. Uh, Robert is going to shut off the steam valve, but make sure to follow him. Obviously, don't go through the steam just yet, because another piece is going to pop up. There it is, so that's why we had to follow him. And then we'll jump up here and climb up the ladder. Oh, man, this kid haven't even had a break. Uh, so we continue up, and then we're going to go to the right once again. So when you push the boxes off and everything and we should be good to go We're gonna do some picking up with the crane Which means of course more hacking right so a little slightly bit awkward, but we're going right then hook Then right three times and then hook again, and then we can just play that one And then again, of course, we'll need to hack it again. So we're going to go left three times this time, then use the hook. And then right once and hook once. So left three times, hook, once right and hook. Funnily enough, even though it is a hook, uh, when I first started playing the game, I was calling it a stethoscope because I thought it resembled a stethoscope, which... Well, it looks like I'm just getting blind in my young old age. Right, so once you press the button and off that noobski goes, now we're into the uh, going to go into the apparently spiky bowel room, um, where it's effectively a new mechanic now for the rest of the game, where I'm just going to call it a glob, because it reminds me of glob. So press the button here on the right-hand side, and up comes the glob. It's going to glob us on. We're going to shove it straight in the robot, Ah, you son of a... Ooh, that feels good. And then, uh, when we're hacking, I think Robot did like that, we're going to go right once, and then glob option. So again, I'll just call it glob. And then he transforms into stuff nearby, which is pretty cool and very handy. So we can climb up the ladder, go to the right and press the lever, so we'll pop that one down, 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 down. And then the elevator comes by, there we go. Now you think that would be an easy jump, but it's not. You've got to do all kinds of assassin creeding about the place. So head to the left, of course, press the button here to go back onto the elevator. Whoops, it easy. Up, and then obviously through to the left again. So, you think it, like I said, it would be in uh, very easy to just jump across to the left and jump on it, but that's not the case. So, in the middle here, wait for the steam, jump over to the left, jump down, wait for the steam, and then jump over. Again, rather than rush it, it's worth just waiting, and then we can head to the left. Uh, you can head to the left, you can actually climb up onto these, uh, what resemble, anime tentacles, which I know a lot of people would just be super happy about. Uh, <laughs> winky winky. Uh, so climb up. And then we can climb to the right. And that's how we drop onto the elevator and push our way upwards. So, go to the left. Now what you need to do is you have to do this little input. And then we got to run to the right slightly. So go left, glob, and then right. Press play and then immediately go to the right so you do not get crushed. There we go, because if you stand still, you're going to get crushed like bug, boy. Boy, girl. Girl, boy, they them. Uh, so, head to the left. Yeah, we're all uh, we're all good. Down the elevator road we go. 
So, uh, we're going to press the button here in order to go up. We are going to start doing a little bit of swinging as well. Oh, everyone likes swingers. I do. Um, so, we are going to do this hacking minigame again. And first of all, it's going to be hook. And then it's going to be right. A good solid seven times. And then glob play. So, hook right seven times. And then glob it up. So, that gives us a giant hand to climb on, which is nice. Be very careful here. The amount of times I slipped and I didn't jump, it was bloody annoying. So, drop down. Go left once and then just jump over to the right to give yourself some momentum. There we go. Uh, again, too many times I died on that bit, so which was a pain in the ears. So, then we can jump to the left after messing around with the lever. And then we can press this elevator button down. And there we go. So, then we can jump to the right. To uh, grab onto the hook, you'll automatically do that, but move left and right there to give yourself a little bit of momentum. And it's the same with this bit then. There are gaps, so just be aware and uh, make sure to jump. Give yourself a, moment <laughs> oh, a momentum swing. And jump. Elevator. Ta-da. Right, as soon as we get up here, immediately just drop down to the left. Spider bot is coming after you, and I almost messed that one up again. And then continue just climbing very carefree with your incredible bicep strength and core strength, apparently, all the way over to the right. Lovely job, mate. Just drop down and drop in wonderfully. Right, what is coming up is known as the um, almost pain in the ass in the game. So we're gonna, just going to head up here and we have to do two of the tube hacking mini games. Uh, now, obviously, I make it, this look very easy because, you know, edit and stuff. Uh, but this did take me a good solid 10 minutes. Because by the time I managed to get the first one down, it was the second one that was kicking my ass. Uh, but anyway, once you have done those two, we, uh, well, we are going to have to do a little bit of stealthing here. So don't drop straight down, just do it very carefully. Now, as you can see, the alien there, once he is looking up and is red, that obviously means he can see you and he will call a spider bot on your ass. So wait until he drops down and then just go over to the next cylinder. For some reason, he can't see you. Uh, so he sucks a bit Don't try and rush this bit I tried rushing this bit and again it took me a good 6-7 minutes just to get by Because I thought I could just run straight through uh, Again be careful on the next screen He will look over as well Also be careful with this bit because some of the water will drain So if you go to the second one here As you can see the third bit of water has just drained And he will see you uh, Apparently water is not very transparent in an AI's eye Go over to the third one now Because the fourth one has um, drained and then as soon as he looks down we should be able to just nip it all the way to the right there we go and that's job done right time to get a fail now jump straight over and die by tentacles or not tentacles you son of a bamba. so in order to get past this bit then what we'll do is go into the hackeroni we'll go for a bit of hookeroni and then we're going to go right three times and then glob it up and then we can just climb over to the right so, slightly timed section again here. Now, when we go to the left, again, you think we'll be able to just jump to the bridge, but that's not the case. So, um, push over little Mewtwo right here. Kind of reminds me of Mewtwo from the uh, the epic, the original Pokemon. Um, again, press the B button here to get off the lid. So that should be two of them down. And then we're going to do a little bit of hacking, obviously. So what we're going to do then is go left uh, two, uh, four times, five times, left five times, then glob. And then left three times and then hand icon and then press play. 
But as soon as you do that, we're going to go over to the right. And then we're just going to jump this little gap here and wait until the bridge is cleared. Cleared for landing. And then head to the right. There we go. Don't worry about this AI rocking the weird human humanoid baby about. Um, now, obviously, be careful with this one, then. It is just a case of getting the timings right. You can hang on the edge, though, if you're a little bit worried. So you can hang on the edge and wait till the steam goes up and finishes before moving on. Now, before going through the door, just head to the right, all the way to the right. You're going to see this little bit of fluid boy picking up. Press the B button to put your hand on. Hello, my friend. I love you, but that's what gets us the fluid form achievement. That'll do. So now we can go through the door. And now we've got what for me is probably the most random part, but uh, kind of the most hilarious part of the game as well. So when we head to the right, uh, well, sorry, up through the door, first of all. I already got a bit ahead of myself right there. Um... But yeah, so we need to crouch down very immediately, quickly here. As soon as the AI turns around again, quickly make a break for it, and then quickly crouch down again. He can catch you very quickly, so you've got to be uh, very, uh, very on it right there. But these are the most random bits here. So we've got to basically do what this kid does. So you need to jump in the hoops, climb over the gymnastics tingy majiggy. You know, what is it, the, the old boobin babin? Uh, I forget what it's called. Anyway, jump through the hoops. Jump over the boobin babin, jump into the next hoop, and that's accepted. And then this is like a Simon Says types thing. So just jump on two, three, and four. And then we'll head back to the left. And the gaps actually do make it a bit harder, to be honest. So jump on two, three, four, five, and then four. Three. And then there's more again. One more, actually. So, jump on number two. Three. Four. Five. Four. Three. And then four, three, and two. There we go, and apparently that's uh, that's how you pass music class now, apparently. So, job done. Right, time to get another achievement now. Pick up the teddy bear right here next to the door, and then we're going to go into the door with the little darling wiener children. Uh, so, just press the B button next to the kids, and they're going to be like, Bruh, who the hell is that? I don't know. Get out of my realm! And we're going to be like, okay, sorry. Uh, but that gets the junior detective achievement anyway. So, jobs are good, boys. Right, so now we're going to head through the only open door. And we've got three achievements left now to get in the last sort of ten minutes or so of gameplay. So, get rid of the vent. Uh, AI may catch you there, so just be careful, of course. Uh, now we've got a lot of crent, uh, crent falling, vent crawling to do. So, that will happen a lot. So, if you're a little bit, um, if you suffer with, uh, you know... <laughs> tight spaces and stuff like I do, which I genuinely do. I can't be cramped into one place for too long because I start going, <laughs> etc., etc. Then this is not going to be the best part of the game for you. Anyway, we're heading to the right. Again, just wait for the fire. Now, you have to be genuinely quite a little bit quick with this one. So as soon as the one in front of us goes out, immediately make a break for the right. And then, of course, stand up and jump up. And then as soon as the one below you goes out, quickly drop down. Now, it may take a little bit of... It can, can kind of be finicky, the controls, but jump up. And I just about make it there. Press the lever. That will shut off all the fire, thank God. But yeah, in terms of, like, the, the crawling aspect and stuff, the controls can be kind of finicky, especially when you're trying to do it quickly. Uh, but there we go. So we'll head to the left. That should get rid of the steamed hams we're having. And then we can just climb onto this part and climb up the ladder. Right, so jump off to the right, and then we're going to squeeze our way through. To be fair, like he's, he's strong and he's skinny enough to climb through everywhere. 
Uh, but push the box to the right, obviously only once we can do that. Then we need to climb onto the ladder. Now we're going to go left here and you just again have to wait until the fire dies out. So I'm just waiting just for a second, you know, epic paranoia and everything. So as soon as the fire goes out, drop down and then quickly as you can, press, press, push the B button on the lever. That'll pop that one down. Slamming boy. Nice. Yeah. Then we can jump over to the right and crawl through the very tight crawl space. So, making you sure you are dropping her down, going to the left, and then we can pull the box. Remember that we pushed earlier. And then we can bring this all the way. And we're actually, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> getting a bit old in my young age. Uh, push it all the way off, and then what you can do, that sh you should then be able to drop down. And that will enable us to climb up, through, and over to the right. And of course, just be aware of Mr. Crushy Crushy right here. Obviously, as soon as he goes up, nip to the right. And then there's all types of other more crap going on. So, jump up. Obviously, you go all the way to the right. Now, obviously, again, it's all about timing, as it as we've known for the last hour or so. Soon as it's down, just you can stay here. So you can still drop down, um, still just hang on the edge. As soon as that fires out, drop down. And then you should have enough time then just to be able to make it over to the left. And for us to droop down and once again. More dropping down. Lovely. Uh, pull the lever here on the left. And that gets rid of all the fire. Fire. Oh, yeah. This looks entertaining. Huh? It's actually not so bad. Uh, so we can now what you're supposed to do is just wait for the fire there I kind of got lucky with that one wait for the fire to go out again and then go to the left and then quickly press the lever and That should die the majority of fires out for some reason one decided to stay there now I do have to ask as well as we go to the right and obviously we're gonna be jumping up Who decided in this whole maintenance building right when we build the tunnels guys? Make sure that you put the fires just in front of the levers just in case of an emergency, okay? So uh, that'll come in mega handy for when you want to burn yourself to death. Who taught this was a good idea? I do not know. Right, so when we get down here then, wait for the first fire, of course, to go out. And then again, you should have enough time to make it through. Just. <laughs> Drop down again. And then wait for the big flame to go out underneath you. Like I said, there's no rush. We can just relax our rancho. Take our time with it, you know. Rancho papo, favor. Uh, pull the lever again, and that should once again die out the fires. And again, the maintenance guy, whoever decided to build these tunnels, he's got a lot of questions to answer for. Right, head to the right, and then um, we're going to press this lever and watch the little cutscene with this little boy. So now we'll be able to nip out to the right and we will unlock the story related achievement called Crumble's Caress, which sounds like a new galaxy bar, to be honest, isn't it? The new galaxy, Cr Crumble Caress. Mmm, delicious. Right, so just jump all the way over to the left. You should have plenty of time. You should do. And if you don't, well, you can try again because you're a super cute. And, uh, well, we, we will be coming up to the main sort of boss now in just a minute or two so climb up and clamber up to the right thankfully I think we are all done with uh... okay we're not all done with the tight crawl spaces this is the last one though I believe uh, so we're gonna jump up and of course we're gonna head down and uh, it's literally a case of you can already tell uh, you just need to get to the lever on the left um, right after we pop this bit down, so the top platform goes up, so that gives us another way. So pull the lever and then head up to the t head up to the top right. My accents get a bit crazy. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hey, welcome to the big boss now. Right, so what we'll do is go right a good solid, uh, well, majority of the time until we get to the hand. Again, this is going to be another one where we've got to press the lever at the same time. So just wait for Robert to pull it. And then you should be able to pull it together. I did go a bit early, but it should be fine. And I was going to be like, yeah, son of a monkeys. And then there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene. No, you will need to press the B button on the left stick, sort of wiggling back and forth until you jump off here. And then there's little more cutscene. Right, let's head up, and now this is the start of the final boss. Now, you don't have to fight him, but you do have to avoid its energy attacks. And our job is to basically grab the three ropes, which we could have just stood on the console and grabbed them, but that's okay. So, let's get the last fail now, and it is with the energy wave. So, as you can see, we'll get straight in the middle, and... Yeah, yeah. So now, hopefully, you should get the fail over achievement for getting all 17 death fails. Um, now I did get a little bit stupid right here and died again, so we'll try again. Um, but obviously what we need to do, as you can see, so every energy wave that he blasts, we just need to be behind some cover. It is as simple as that. So stay here, and then just continue on to the right. He will obviously still be there, but for some reason his energy wave is so powerful that it can't just get through glass. Uh, but jump up anyway, because there is the spider bot there. Wait for the next blast, and then continue to the right. Drop down, and then immediately go up the ladder, so you don't get stung in the buns by the spider huns. Uh, we need to be uh, jumping over to the left. So yeah, I don't know why, that there is a massive sentinel being with an incredible energy wave that can seemingly blast everything, but it's not enough to blast a window open. Well, it comes in handy for us, I suppose, doesn't it? Uh, so, there we go. We'll drop down here. Now, again, just be careful because we still need... We're still not home and dry yet. So, drop down. And, oh, I got a little bit lucky with that one. There is another spider dude coming, even though he does die. So, that's all good. So, make sure to grab onto the rope. If you miss, you'll have to do that whole bit again, and that's just a pain. So, that's two out of three is done. So, now let's head to the left. And we are literally, effectively, now almost done with the game. So, beautiful. Right. Obviously, wait, and then head to the left. Jump, because uh, the platform does die a little bit. Now, go left again, of course. And this is another crumbly platform, so wait for an energy boost. And then quickly run over to the left. Jump on the rope. Give yourself a bit of momentum and drop over. More crumbly platforms. <laughs> you suck, dude. <laughs> And it's just a case of waiting for the moment, going to the middle. Energy Blast, go. And of course, he is going to start getting a little bit quicker as we go on. Um, so wait, and then we're going to drop down. Wait here again before moving up. Just about make that one. And he starts getting real quick now, so you need to jump over as quick as you can. There we go. Well, my god! Over to the right, and then we can just grab the next rope, and boosh! And that, my friends, is how you do it. It is how we do it!
So congratulations, you saved the day, Mother Flubber! Team America! Now this is actually a real nice touch. Um, dedicated to all the children who suffered through the lockdowns of 2020 and 2021. Now, there was a lot of kids who suffered with, obviously, mental health through, obviously, boredom, through uh, lack of education and everything. And I know everyone tried, but it was a difficult, if it was a difficult time for grown-ups, it was a hell of a lot more difficult for kids. I had a one-year-old daughter, which was good for me, but my God, did it get a bit annoying walking around the same bloody path all the time. But uh, anyway, so that's a nice touch there. So uh, there we go, guys and gals. So that is the really awesome Full Void. So I do hope you enjoyed the game and I hope the guide helped as well. And if it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and um, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love! Big Full Void Ball love.